Okay guys, today I found something really weird in my kitchen. It's a gravitational anomaly around this area. I was hoping you guys could help me figure it out. So in Santa Cruz, California, there's a special spot called the Santa Cruz Mystery Spot. And it's something that's known as a gravity hill. There's not just one gravity hill. Even where I grew up, there was a place in a little canyon known as Gravity Hill, and there's multiple places all around the world where people seem to find gravitational anomalies where balls seem to roll uphill or things don't quite fall over like they're supposed to. And I think I've discovered one in my house here. So a lot of people contribute these weird phenomenon of balls rolling uphill at these gravity hills to a supernatural phenomenon or maybe a gravitational anomaly or a magnetic anomaly in the earth. But scientists actually attribute these gravity hills to nothing more than an optical illusion. But an optical illusion is not what you're about to see here. It's something entirely different. And I want you to try to figure out what's going on here. So let me show you what's going on here. In order to show you, I need two books. I'm gonna use my very first physics book and my favorite physicist, or one of my favorite physicists, Richard Feynman's book. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna create a slight slant here. So the two books are stacked up here. It's in my kitchen, so you can see this is not an optical illusion. Obviously, my floor is level, my baseboards are level. So I'll set this board on it. You can see it's obviously at a slant here, but then watch what happens when I try to roll this disc down it. So I'll set it here, I'm going to let it go very gently so you don't think I'm pushing it. And it goes up. So look at this again. It's clearly slanted. It's not going downhill, but I place it here anywhere on it. And it goes up. Okay, look at this again. Just set it here on a clear slant. It just goes up. <laughs> And I already know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm blowing it uphill or something. So I got some very fragile gold leaf here that reacts to the tiniest little bit of wind. You can see when I barely blow on it. Just wave it around, it flows in the wind. Okay, I'm gonna let it go in three, two, one. <laughs> so has anyone figured out what might be going on here? On these places around the world, these gravity hills that people find where things seem to roll uphill, they've looked for gravitational anomalies and magnetic anomalies, and they haven't found any strong enough to make something roll uphill. Because around the globe, depending on what mountain ranges are nearby or the density of the Earth, the strength of the gravity on Earth can change slightly. Wherever there are more dense areas, gravity is a little bit stronger in that area. Wherever there's a large mountain, gravity is a little stronger pointing towards that mountain. But it's orders of magnitude too weak to make any change in the direction that something could roll. Same with magnetism. Even if you have something magnetic, which the styrofoam clearly isn't, the magnetism could not be strong enough on the Earth to make something roll uphill, especially with this steep of an incline. So what is actually going on here? Well, let's look at this in terms of potential energy. In order for something to go uphill, it's essentially as though it's being lifted up in the air. And in order to lift something up in the air, you have to input energy. You have to input energy that gets turned into potential energy. So for a pure styrofoam disc, the center of mass, meaning the location of the average mass, is right in the center of it. And when it starts at the bottom of the hill, the center of mass is here. But then in this situation, when I let it go, and it goes uphill, now the center of mass is here. So the center of mass of this whole styrofoam disc has now gone up. So there's been an input in energy, or has there. So if the center of mass of the styrofoam disc was right in the center, then there would have had to be an input of energy to make it roll uphill. But what if the center of mass isn't directly in the center of this styrofoam disc? So that instead of being here, it's here. Then if I let it go and it rolls uphill and stops here, then you can see that the center of mass is now actually lower than before. So it actually fell. So there was no input in energy. In fact, there was a release of energy. And that follows all of our known laws of physics. 
So there's not actually anything weird going on here at all, as long as the center of mass of this styrofoam disc isn't right in the center. And in fact, it's not. I have two steel balls pushed into the styrofoam right here so that the center of mass is now located almost right here. So that when I release it, it falls down but rolls uphill. So there you go, I think we solved the mystery of the gravitational anomaly in my floor. It's just a case of an unbalanced center of mass. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. And leave me any comments or questions you have in the comment section and I'll try to get to them. And if you haven't headed over to theactionlab.com, head over there right now and check out my subscription box where you can do experiments similar to the ones that you see me do on my channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.